Hey, this is Colleen Davy Janes, and I'm the creator of Ace Your Video. I'm coming to you from New York City, so it's a little loud outside. I've got my microphone on, so hopefully you can hear me all right. But um, I am responding to my most recent newsletter that I sent out uh, as I am approaching my launch for my course, which is totally exciting. Um, I wanted to know what you guys are struggling with right now with video and I'm going to respond to the first response that I got back. I got several and I'm going to cover all of those over the next few weeks as I lead up to the course launch. But in the meantime, I wanted to go ahead and cover this first one, which was a question about transitions within your editing, your video editing. Now I realize that some of you may not have videos yet, so this is still something take a look at it and see how easy it is so that you're not afraid of it or intimidated by it when the time comes. You've seen this video before and I grabbed a few pieces to give you an example of the three types of transitions that you'd be using. You can of course use all of the crazy transitions available so let's go over here and show you. Um, and this is just a very small example of what's available in the world the cross blur, the fade to black, the fade to white, the spin, the spin out. Oh my God. This is <laughs> um, overwhelming and to a large extent uh, cheesy. So there's only two kinds of, sorry, three kinds of transitions that you're really going to use. And they are a straight cut, ready? That's just a straight cut between two shots where there is no transition used. The next one is gonna be a dissolve. Video. That's where two shots dissolve over each other. You've seen it a million times. And the last one you might use is called a fade. Now that in particular was a fade to white. You can also fade to black um, or fade through black as that people like to call it. So let me just show you real quickly how I made those. I'm um, in iMovie. You can use this in any software that you're using. So you can do this in Final Cut, you can do this in Adobe Premiere, but most likely if you're using those softwares you already know about these and how to do them. So the first one over here in iMovie, I'm just going to show you the transition browser and fix my screen. This is the transition box, so you can select your transitions here. Let me show you where I got that. I got that right here in the is see, show the transition browser. So fancy. So you click that and the transition browser shows up. You then just select drag and drop your transition. So I'll show you a fade to black. I had a fade to white. I'm going to just drop this guy right on top of my other transition. I'm going to say yes, replace it please. And now we have a fade to black. You see? So these are both transitions you can use. Let's say you had a flub in your video. Uh, let's say you, know, you need to cut a section out and you have enough of what's called, and this is very important, a handle on either side of your video clips. So as you see, this clip, it's telling me is 2.4 seconds. This clip is three seconds. Not very important, but let's look at the end of this clip. See, I'm, I'm talking. And at the beginning of this one, I'm talking. When you want to transition between clips and you want to have a fade in or a dissolve, you need space. And those are called handles on either side of your clip. So you need to prepare for that when you are uh, deciding on your transitions. So always leave space. If you mess up, take a big pause, do it again. So that's my tutorial on transitions. I know it's a quick one, but I just wanted to get it out there. And please put your responses below the video so I can hear or see what you thought about it. And ask any more questions, I'm happy to answer them. Thanks a lot, bye.